uh, it's been seven years since we all passed out in fifth grade, and it's still fresh in memory. But uh, it's also nice to relive them back. School always brings back the most happy memories. Uh, when we think of the best teacher whom we had, the first one that comes to our mind is uh, our fifth standard teacher, Miss uh, Anthony. Uh, she used to be like a second mother to us. You were like the brightest moon in the darkest sky. Uh, every time uh, we met you, you were so sweet talking to us. The way you taught us the merits and demerits was very wonderful and made us to learn. Actually, the first thing that comes to my mind when I think about high school is the ribbon cupboard. There was this cupboard where the last lid worked properly. So, and the, uh, the lids used to open. So, we uh, uh, kept it in place with the help of the ribbon. And that was some special cupboard, you know, like whenever you have some extra things or stuff, there used to be a pen stand there and some box or something. All the extra things which were there, we left it over the cupboard and uh, we could take from the cupboard whenever needed and the sense of sharing increased between us. There also used to be a letter box in that ribbon cupboard. Like, if you think you cannot go directly and say to your teacher something, or if you want to tell something to a person, you can just slip in a letter into the box. So the teacher will examine and read it, and then she used to reply for everyone. Uh, we used to get excited the very moment you say, now the captains are going to be changed after a month. And it will be like not a normal one, something, uh, even uh, the Prime Minister's election won't be like that. And it won't be like uh, normal, everyone just standing, uh, facing the class. It will, it will be just the opposite. We'll be turning around and we'll be asked to close our eyes. Um, uh, this shows that uh, she gave respect to our feelings. And there was a fun way, even in learning, which she brought in when we actually wrote our uh, science records. She used to have this task system where if she found the record to be really mean and really good, she used to award a star to the student. It would encourage us a lot to do the work which you're doing really mean just so that we could actually get that star. We used to have a common lunch every day with uh, all of the students and uh, I still remember the days we fought with one another to sit next to her in the bench and uh, share her food, give our food to her. Uh, next, uh, what we enjoyed the most in was uh, our general SMB in fifth standard. Uh, usually the general SMB practice would be like a normal one but uh, we almost practiced for one to one and a half months. Every hours was the only general SMB when literally every student of class by C were standing on the stage doing something, not just simply. And uh, she was she could actually give chances to a lot of people. So during the children's day, after the function was over, we came to her class and she gave each girl a rose and a letter. And actually she had the letter. This is the letter. I actually wrote something about her and then I stuck the letter here. So it's something I really cherish. Like it just shows how much importance she gave for every like all of our feelings. And uh, next, uh, the most uh, favorable incident was um, the day when uh, Ms. Angeline uh, picked out the uh, internal and uh, external characters of each person and uh, she uh, told what she liked about us. And uh, I think for me, she told externally she liked my dimple very much and uh, she told internally I was uh, an enthusiastic person. So in every way, the way she was inspired us a lot and you know that actually uh, you know, uh, made us become better persons. So I think she is one of the most memorable teacher whom uh, I can never forget and even every student in 5th C cannot forget.